Hello everyone, welcome to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Today's devotional is titled Antonio Barroso, A Giant of God, brought to you by your sister Lisa Hernandez. Our biblical base comes from Revelation 20. Blessed and holy is the one who has a part in the first resurrection. Over these the second death has no power, but they will be priests of God and of Christ and will reign with him for a thousand years. Amen. Antonio, a saint of God, a man who radiated his virtues in an invisible but powerful halo that impacted, like a ball of fire, the fire of God's Holy Spirit in him. In 1964, he married the woman who would be his companion for the rest of his life, and God blessed him with the birth of his daughter. His brother took him to a Bible study to learn the glorious gospel of Christ. He came to accept Christ and surrender his life to him giving testimony of faith through his baptism by immersion in February of 1960. That same year, on December the 11th, he was clothed with power from on high, and the message of the Holy Spirit says, His cup is overflowing, my kingdom has to be completed. I am adding to the church those who are to be saved. Go look for lost souls. It is your duty. Confirmation. He will be an efficient worker. He stamped his signature as a disciple of Christ in the month of March of 1961, and as a brave and determined soldier, together with his beloved wife, he traveled to Chile, Paraguay, Bolivia, and eventually was appointed to be part of the administrative board that took over the reins of the church in Panama. On March 5, 2022, in a quiet of the night, the good Lord decided to take him to rest, and in a soft whisper, With the tender embrace of the Savior, he closed his eyes until the day of the Lord awakens them again to live for eternity. Amen. My brothers and sisters, no matter what your statue in life is, no matter how old you were or how young you were when you first heard the gospel, God is wants to use you as his servant to do good work for him, to reach the lost souls. The work is so much but the workers are few. Do you want to be a worker for Christ? He's calling you to his service. No matter what that service is, maybe traveling the world, maybe just in your neighborhood, the Holy Spirit, God himself wants to use you. Amen.